Good morning, gamers! My name's Ayushi, and we're back in some more... How y'all doing today, folks? Hope you're doing fantastic, wonderful. Hope this video makes your day even better. So today, we're going to be talking about that Leviathan update. Yep, that one. The one that hasn't come out yet and isn't even going to be coming out next week. It actually got delayed. I'm not joking. So we'll talk about that. Uh, I want to talk about why I've been so busy lately, just because I always hit you guys up with saying how busy I am uh, in my streams and stuff every now and then. And I mean, that's the thing is I haven't been able to stream as much as I've been wanting to. First of all, we've got Thanksgiving this weekend because we're in Canada and we have real Thanksgiving on the real date, not like America where they're like, we have Thanksgiving on the date that we want, you know, that's a little bit of a tease. <laughs> Because Canada always copies America, but not in this case. I'm pretty sure the Americas are, you guys are like the weird ones with your Thanksgiving being on a unique date. Or does Europe have the same uh, like Thanksgiving as you guys do? I don't know. God save the queen, right? Because I'm Canadian. Ooh, we're under the queen's rule, eh? So <laughs> anyways, um, the release date of the Trove Leviathan update has actually been delayed. Normally it was going to be coming on the 15th, uh, and now it has actually been delayed to the 22nd. We'll see. Hopefully it comes out. Uh, I think that it is pretty good odds that it's going to come out on the 22nd because they preemptively talked about this on their Twitter. Kind of. You got to learn how to read between the lines of things, right? But they ended up making a tweet talking about how uh, you can expect to have the Into the Deep, which is the Leviathan update, uh, within the last two weeks of October, which gives them a lot of breathing room for if they ran into issues with it coming out on the 15th, which unfortunately they did. It's just all the same stuff. It's got to do with the server migrations beyond their control. They're trying to work it out. It's not like they're specifically holding the update at bay or anything like that. They want it to release. Obviously, they're, the game's popularity and their money depends on it. So it's not like they're sitting there trying to make it not work. It's just happening, right? Uh, the other big, big thing that we finally got a confirmation on, not even in my emails with my contact or anything. This is this is why I mean you guys. Like I've got my contacts, but it's not like I get 100% of the information. A lot of it I just piece together from other sources. And uh, a lot of times I'll end up getting uh, tips from you guys about like, oh, did you hear about this? And then I'll, you know, confirm it myself uh, with a more reliable source. And anyways, the uh, console update is not going to end up taking place on the 22nd. Sorry, guys. I know it sucks. I know you console players are sitting there going, Bleh! but it's just not going to happen. That's just how it works. Think about it this way. Trove was released on PC. Thus, when it comes to the consoles, it has to have everything ported over. It's not as simple as they just upload this version of Trove onto the consoles. And then, oh, pardon me. And then it just suddenly works because obviously the consoles are using different hardware. However, the Xbox uses Windows because it's Microsoft and PC uses Windows. So I would argue that they technically could probably release the update within a couple weeks of the PC update on Xbox, but they try to have them coincide with the Xbox and PlayStation 4 release at the same time. PS4 is on different hardware, uh, you know, it's a different OS. That's that's why I, I would argue that it takes a lot longer for them to port to that console, but that doesn't matter. Fact of the matter is that if you consider a game like Monster Hunter World, I've used this example before, where that was actually a game that released on console first, meaning that it ported over to the PC version. And especially it being a PS4 game means that it's uh, particularly difficult for them, again, to make this thing work that works for the PlayStation 4 suddenly end up working on Microsoft uh, Windows OS. Now, my point with this is that with Monster Hunter World, the new DLC is already out and has been out for a couple months, but it's releasing on PC in 2020. Yeah, so this just happens. This is just how it is, guys. There's no reason for you to sit there and complain about it, honestly speaking. Uh, I'm just trying to quell the fire here a little bit because otherwise I see you console players always whining about not having the update and saying like, oh, it's unfair. And uh, even right now, I know someone's sitting there like slowly getting angry and having a vein pop in their head. They're like, Scythe doesn't care about console because he doesn't play on console. And it's like, okay. <laughs> Yeah, I play on PC. What do you mean? It, if I was maining PC and the or, or if I was maining console and the update came out on PC first and then I was just 100% dedicated to console, I wouldn't care. I would just wait. 
So what? I know that console hasn't had an update in a million zillion years, and that's just kind of something that sucks with Trove, is we don't really have a massive track record of constant updates coming out. Now, we'll see whether or not, uh, we might just see this as the last update of the year. I'm more than likely guessing it's going to end up releasing on console this year, just because they're usually pretty good for that kind of stuff. Uh, the other thing to consider is that the update in general is pretty hefty on the content. You know, like the Leviathans are going to end up adding a whole new element to the, uh, you know, U8, U9, and U10 of Geo Topside, which it's not like it's new content per se. It's pretty much just the same as an Ultra Shadow Tower boss just being thrown into the world. Uh, but the way that it generates and stuff like that, you know, it's it's going to be a considerable update. Not to mention just all the new content with costumes for all the characters. It's, it's a good update. Okay. That I know is why everyone's so frustrated and just wants it to come out as soon as possible. Anyways. Speaking of console, the reason I haven't been doing the console series as much lately, guys, is because, uh, first of all, I've been busy, and I'll talk about that in a bit, but more so than that, it's just the fact that uh, the same reason why I didn't have my New Beginnings series for Trove for quite some time, you know, I had my episode come out the other day with my alternate account, uh, most of all, it's just because consoles, uh, I don't really have them set up, like, my... I'm on my computer like all day anyways, so loading up Trove just takes like two seconds. As opposed to if I have it on consoles, I gotta turn on the console and then I gotta load the game in itself and then I gotta set everything up for that specific setup because recording console games is different than recording PC games. Wah, 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 boo hoo, I know, right? Uh, most of all, the point that I'm trying to get at is that with my alt account, for example, which I would say is the exact same as my console accounts, I've already got a completely maxed out character and, and account. I mean, I'm missing like a couple badges that I just don't want to grind because it's boring. Uh, like the ra Rampage badges. I don't know if I'll ever end up getting those, honestly speaking. But the point is that with it, I have no like strong desire to grind for specific content on my alternate accounts. Like it's not like I'm going to sit there on console and be like, I have to get max level right away and become the strongest character in the game. Cause I've already got all my strong characters on the con or, or on the PC version. And I know firsthand just how difficult it is to end up doing that, let alone on the console and, uh, and my trove alternate account. All of those accounts are pretty much free to play. The console versions, I spent a little bit on some stuff, but not really that much. And I mean, outside of just grinding classes uh, you know, how crafting classes and then just uh, leveling them up here and there or going for like a really cool amount. But even then it's all RNG, whether I get it or not. My point is that I don't have 100% incentive to grind on those characters. So usually I'll just log in, record a video for you guys or do a stream, log out. And then I just go back to my main account because my main account is the one that I've invested like close to five years of my life into. If if not, we're actually, we might even be at five years right now. So that said, we did start the Trove New Beginnings. I'm hoping to start the console episodes again next week. Fingers crossed. But I have been very, very busy. We've got uh, Thanksgiving going on this weekend. I, I know Canada's crazy, aren't we? Uh, as far as I know, I think America has their Thanksgiving on the weird date that nobody else in the world does. Or or maybe you guys do. Like, does Europe have the same Thanksgiving date that we do or that America does? I don't know. But either way, so that's what's going on uh, for this weekend, which I'm very, very surprised that we didn't end up getting the Halloween event in Trove or anything like that. I'm guessing that also has to do with the server migration issues that are going on. Uh, and then on top of all of that, I'm going to talk about this briefly because I did talk about it more specifically in my gear setup video that I had recently and in a Destiny episode, but I have actually upgraded a lot of parts on my computer but on top of that, I was running into a lot of issues uh, just with those new parts. And I upgraded my Windows 10 version. I had it like it, it was like maybe a year old or something because I hate Windows updates. They're so useless and usually break everything. And lo and behold, they broke everything because uh, basically there was an update, I think like last October or August or something like that, that ended up removing access for me to uh, set up like my sound drivers and stuff like that or something. They tr made it less intuitive by trying to hide it and make it like more accessible to casual uh, computer players, whatever you call it. Anyways, figured all of that out. 
upgraded my recording software OBS and I don't know, everything's working fine now. So I, I'm happy with that, but it does take a long time to set all of this stuff up, especially because I'm constantly having to create restore points and get ready for things to port over. Uh, also, when I upgraded the parts of my computer, that first day, like it took all day for me to set it up because I had to change my motherboard in order to change my CPU and I had to get more RAM because the new motherboard wouldn't support my old RAM, so on and so forth. And then finally, I was ready to go to bed that night after I'd upgraded my computer and I was just exhausted and frustrated and stuff. Uh, and, and then I noticed in the corner of my screen, it's like your Windows 10 uh, is not like active. So uh, ultimately, you know, I went down the rabbit hole on the Internet of trying to solve this issue. And everything was just saying that you had to uh, I had to store Windows 10 on a cloud, basically something like that. Uh, and then move my motherboard and then say, yep, this is me. Because as soon as you change your motherboard, like Windows was on my old motherboard, now it's on my new motherboard. However, that would mean that I would have had to take all of the new parts out of my computer, put the old parts back in just so I could get Windows ready and then swap it around again. Thankfully, on a very, very obscure email of mine, uh, I ended up finding my Windows 10 key. So I didn't have to do any of that. Woohoo! Yeah. Last but not least, guys, I don't want to get too, too into this because I did talk about it on my community post on my YouTube, but it has to be talked about. There was a fire. So in the middle of the night, we got woke up, uh, came outside. It was the biggest fire I've ever seen. It was actually horrifying, but I was also exhausted because it was the middle of the night. And uh, Mariko said that she ended up hearing some explosions. I, I didn't, you know, I, I'm a pretty heavy sleeper, honestly speaking. Uh, I guess it was some propane tanks or something like that. Anyways, the neighbor's houses, like one uh, neighbor and then the house right beside it, both caught fire. Thankfully, no one was hurt. I'll just say that right away. Uh, you know, the neighbor woke up in the middle of the night, smelt smoke, went over to the other neighbor, banged on their door, woke them up, got them out of there, and nobody ended up getting hurt. But that fire was insane. It was the size of like a two-story house, and it was just massive. You know, I didn't even know how devastating the damage would be until I saw it the following day during the daytime. So anyways, uh, fire trucks are coming by. They're, you know, they're over on a, a further street for some reason, shooting, uh, shooting water on it and foam and everything like that because they're trying to actually get the other gas tanks cooled off. We didn't know this at the time. And finally, when it was safe enough or when they thought it was safe enough, uh, they they came down our street and they told us that we had to get out of the area because there was a risk of an explosion They didn't tell us about that risk. Uh, this was all that we ended up hearing about afterwards So lo and behold, I don't want to drag on too much about it You know Mariko and I just ended up walking the dogs for like an hour or two and then finally they let us go back in and we just went to bed There you go um, The biggest thing that is actually crazy about the whole situation is literally this distance I'm not even exaggerating it that oh, there we go this distance right here this is the fire this was a huge gigantic gas tank yeah so even though the neighbor houses were burning thankfully the fire didn't end up reaching that gas tank because if it did it would have exploded and it would have taken out the whole block so if it exploded while we were in bed i would be dead <laughs> you just want to see videos from me anymore uh if it exploded while we were out uh you know evacuated and stuff we would have lost our house. I wouldn't have had my computer or my setup or anything like that. I, you know, just ugh. so anyways, I I don't want to get too into it because I'm not trying to be a downer here. OK, guys, I'm actually trying to talk about this to lift up your spirits and say something positive about all of this, because the world is a very, very harsh place and it always has stuff like this going on for everybody. OK, we all have had our fair share of some terrible crisis that we've dealt with. And maybe I have a thick skin for these kinds of things because I, you know, I grew up in Winnipeg in the North End and it was a life or death situation just growing up there. Okay. Like there was neighbors with, you know, guns and stuff, which is unheard of in Canada. And just, uh, you know, we hear an explosion go off at the neighbor's house. Apparently it was like a, a gang you know, throwing a Molotov cocktail in their house and stuff. Anyways, I, you don't need to hear about my past or anything like that. Okay. My point is. We are all very, very fortunate and very, very lucky in life that I can be like, look at this situation. Here's the positive to take from it, okay? I'm sitting here recording a video with gameplay on my monitor, looking at a camera, making eye contact with a camera lens, 
because I know the spirit of all of you guys watching this appreciates the fact that I'm making eye contact and talking to you and, and with you. And then here's how privileged we all are in this society. You guys are sitting there watching me. <laughs> and I'm not saying like, oh, it's a privilege to be watching me or anything like that. I'm saying like, uh, there's people in this world that don't even have the internet or have a, access to a computer or anything, let alone like we're sitting here and we have a bond, you and I, you know, through me just playing these stupid video games on my YouTube channel and talking with you guys, we've actually created some type of a companionship between each other, you know? And that's crazy. It's so fortunate and so awesome that we can have this type of a situation. And even the fact that I can make a living doing this because you guys are watching some advertisements that show up on my videos. Or maybe you're buying some of the merch and stuff like that, right? And it's like, even that, like how privileged, how crazy it is, how good we've got it, you know? Because it could be like the old days of YouTube where nobody even makes any money off of it. You know, you guys just sit here and watch like an ad or two. Turn off ad blocker, okay? That's immediately what I did when I started watching YouTube is I turn off ad blocker across the board because I want to support the people that I'm watching. I'm not trying to turn it into a message about that because I don't want to mix up uh, my genuine excitement and feelings for doing the process of, you know, this is my job. And I love it. And I'm very, very appreciative to all of you for that. I'm not trying to sit here and say that it's about the money, but I mean, at the same time, if I was doing this for free, it would mean that I would have to have a full-time job and I wouldn't be able to do this as regularly for you guys. And it's just, I mean, this is my full-time job and I'm very, very grateful for that. Namaste gamers, namaste. Thank you so, so much for watching as always. I'm okay, everybody's okay. I just wanted to let you guys know about it. Smash like, sub for more and buy some of the merch. Come on, come on, do it. I'm trying to get some new merch, but my, my guy that's been making the new merch, uh, my Merck's brother, Sios, both of them have been extremely busy with college, so I've barely heard any contact from them whatsoever, which sucks for me, Mr. Selfish, Mr. Privileged, like, why is he so busy with college and making a life for himself when he could draw something that goes on a shirt? Anyways, wish you all the best, love you all to death, sign or stay up, gamers.